welcome home. Of course, like many of you, I would love to be dining on an island with a beautiful beach, but I can't. So why not dine on my counter island in my beautiful kitchen? And I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this beautiful look. Let me just forewarn you that number one, I had a lot of technical problems with the light just shining, blaring through my kitchen. Not to mention, I do some of my best work in my pajamas. So you're going to see my favorite polka dot robe. Now that we have addressed that situation, I'm going to use some material from a previous project that did not work out and that was making pillowcases. And basically this pink material, I'm going to put on the island, leaving about three inches or so around the total island and it's not even cut straight and there's some threads there but that's perfectly fine because we're going for like a shabby chic type look next i'm going to add some target placemats that have a rose gold print to it it's going to be perfect with the pink material now i am one who loves to mix colors and metals and i'm going to use a silver charger similar to what you can find at dollar tree for just to kind of anchor my table setting. Now for my dinner plate and my salad plate, they both have silver trim, but they are from two different dinner sets. But we're going to mix them up and use them and they're gonna work perfectly together. Then from eBay, I bought some pink floral cloth napkins that I'm going to fold into thirds. And then after folding them, I'm going to place it directly under the salad plate, letting some of the fabric hang out so that you can see the floral pattern. This is a great idea, especially if you don't have any napkin rings to match your tablescape. Now it's time for the glassware. The short glass I bought from Dollar Tree and that's gonna be used for water. The taller glass, the stem is trimmed with gold stripes and I purchased those from good old home goods and that's gonna be used for juice. Lastly, add the utensils and you're good to go. Here's another view on how I achieved the results. Now, the only thing needed is to add a centerpiece. And this particular peony tall arrangement was featured in my previous YouTube video. So if you like it, go ahead and check it out and see how easy it was to make. By piecing together items that you already own, it definitely gives your tablescape a unique look. It doesn't take a lot or a lot of money to make yourself or your family feel special. I just wanna encourage and inspire everyone to use what they have. You don't have to look at Pinterest or Instagram and think that you have to spend a whole lot of money to have a beautiful dining experience because you don't. Whether you go to Goodwill, use eBay, or even shop the sales racks, it can be as glamorous as you make it.
Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and even tell your friends and family about me. You can also follow me on Instagram at Welcome Home with Stephanie. Thanks so much and happy decorating.